Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by T Bradley 90 in the My Investing Club chat. A general reminder for those who do not know, MIC is having a one year anniversary event where Bao is going to be trading live in front of our members. It's coming up August 17th. Mark your calendars. As an added benefit for our members, the event is 100% and exclusively free for annual and lifetime members. While lifetime, on top of that, get extra coaching before the event and guaranteed front row seating. While most charge for these events, we show our support by making it, again, free for annual and lifetime members. If you are interested in signing up for this event, DM TBradley90 in MIC Slack chat and or email myself at tosh at myinvestingclub.com. Now, we have a very special video for you guys as Aloha Trader, one of our uh, main moderators in MIC, whose real name is Austin, does a trade recap of RKDA on the long side. And while today is just a preview of the full-length video, if you want to watch the full-length or any of our exclusive content, then become a member of MIC. All right. So today, holy crap, like holy crap, holy crap, holy crap, we had a runner today. Like, it's like a dream come true. Like, I wanted, like, it's been like at least four or five weeks since we've had a runner in this market. And I was just talking about in the webinar last night how... You know, it's like when when the market has abstained for a very long time, you know, of, you know, being, you know, a draught of runners, there's typically going to be one around the corner and it's going to, you know, rip faces, right? And like, that's literally what we got the next day. So, I mean, that's, I mean, kind of spooky, but I was really excited to, for it to come and I want to go over the trade. So, um, when I woke up, I, I woke up. And I saw that this was up like 60-70% like up in here and and I looked at what the news was on you know I know RK, RKDA I'm very familiar with it. it's a low float stock it's like sub 5 I think I think it had like 3 million shares in the float um, and it was up like 60-70% I'm like wow it's, it's an actual gap where I looked at the news it was up on like USDA approval of uh, like drop resist drop intolerant soybeans you know whatever it is but Approvals are typically, um, you know, hype, you know, potential for hype news, which is what I'm always interested in. And given that we haven't had a runner in forever, you know, I'm always looking for the next one. So that's what I had in mind coming into the market. I did locate some and and the bar was pretty healthy. So, right. Nothing super, nothing super um, sexy about the daily. Right. No sexy levels to play off of. So whenever there's no important or defined or volume levels to play off of on the daily, that's when I look for the, the pre-market to, to kind of dictate my trades, right? And so right out of the open, I was like, you know, I kind of want to just buy this using the range and just scalp around until it wants to pick a direction and then I'll join. So right out of the open, like we, we, um, we tanked down to 310 and I put a buy order down here um, at 310 because I wanted to um, just scalp around and man, I had an order at 332. <laughs> I had an order at 332 and missed, and then it slammed down so hard, and I have to think that that was a furu, so that was really annoying. But I, I you know, I quickly stopped out of that under three, um, and then, you know, I let it do its thing. I let it put in its bottom and consolidate a little bit. I said on the next tank, I'm gonna buy risking the low, and I bought right down here. I think I got like 87, and again, like I posted a picture of this in chat. I had a sell order out at like 306. And like I didn't even get it, and then it tanked on me again, and so I was like, "Well, crap." Both of these trades are just I'm looking for scalps, right? Like I'm just trading this based off the bottom, right? I'm buying this off the bottom. I'm buying this off 310 with the idea that this can eventually, like the the direction this is going to have today is up, and I want to be long biased, not short biased on it today. It had high volume, right? Before the market opened, it had three million shares. So that also turned my brain on, right? It's got high volume. It's it's relatively easy to borrow. Um, it's got you. It's got USDA approval news, and it just slams twice, and it's reclaiming support. All the pieces of the puzzle for a squeeze are there, right? You have domino effects. You have three VWAP, three oh five, right? Um, the, the 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 next pivot line, and you know this is where sh sh shorts are not, you know, being comfortable. And just literally, like, so I had I had my my third order for a scalp up there, and then we we immediately get up to three fifty. I didn't even have orders up there. It was so fast. Like I think this killed a lot of people on the on the short side just because 
like it was just it, it just rocketed up teleported so fast that like and and then just halted right so um i took a little bit more off on the halt just in case like it was gonna gap off under the halt and i was really hoping for a gap up right and so we get the gap up i get my push to four i'm feeling on top of the world like i take my trade off portion here i just got the you know the home run portion of my trade left and i'm hoping to get a push up to 450 that's ideally like i'm thinking i'm trying to get one more push up to 450 and you know like i there was a little mini stuff here right over here on the next candle but i actually sold some on that candle like so you can't see this stuff but there was a little mini stuff here at four i'm like uh oh maybe this is the top so i sell a little bit more but leave you know i still try to leave a piece on for the 450 we get a nice pop up which is what i wanted it doesn't quite get up to 440 so i take a little bit off there in the 20s and we, we fail hard and I just stop out the rest. And I'm just like, great trade. I, I was feeling like on a high just because we haven't had this kind of trade in a very long time. And one thing I want to note is that um, I was a little bit too high on this trade. Not really. I don't, I, I, I'm not into that. But um, I just meant on a mental high that this is a, fir this is a good first bounce. And I thought about it when I was selling it, but you know, like I didn't want to get too greedy with, with the trade. Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by tbradley90 in the My Investing Club chat. Just wanted to reach out and say if you have any questions about MIC, joining MIC, maybe you're a member already, you have three ways to contact myself personally and through MIC. You can hit our social media, you can hit me through PMs in chat, or you can contact us through my email at tosh at myinvestingclub.com. That's T-O-S-H at myinvestingclub.com. I will get back to you in a timely manner, and I'm saying this because I'm here to help, and I don't want anybody to be afraid to reach out and ask any question that they have. We are here for you guys. All right, see you guys.